This is crazy what Bob said, right? Because now, after Anthony Joshua knocked out Pulev, he came out tweeting that, well, guess what? The stage is on for the biggest fight, blah, 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 this and that. And he said that Wilder contract is up. It's been up since October. And he keep insisting that Deontay <clears throat> Wilder doesn't have a case. But ironically, they in mediation, right? Now, he said that the rematch expired in October. If the rematch did expire in October, right? Let's say that's a fact. Bob Arum got no reason to lie, right? So if that's the case, why did Bob Arum in June, he came out and said that the fight is postponed till October or December. He also said that the fight could possibly even postpone further than that till February 2021. This is what Bob said. Because mind you, Deontay Wilder activated the rematch clause a week after the rematch when he lost to Tyson Fury. So yeah. they've been trying to schedule a date since then to this till this day. 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 Till Bob Aram and Tyson Fury find a way out, right? My question to you is, if the contract expires in October, why are you going to push the fight back further than that till December and February 2021? And that's according to Bob. What sense does that make? Can you make sense out of that? Uh, no, nah, I can't make no sense out of that, man. For whatever reason, man, they really do not want us to get that trilogy match for some reason. And I can't understand it my damn self. But it's like you said earlier, anything that Bob Arum said, you kind of got to take with a grain of salt because Bob Arum himself told us that Errol Spence's pay-per-view numbers didn't do that well, which we know isn't the case, especially considering it's a pandemic right now. Right. <laughs> you let him tell it. He's saying Errol Spence didn't really sell nothing. And I yeah. said right now, I bought it. So I know that's, that's a big cap. Yes, sir. I bought it too. I'm pointing out to the people that's listening how Bob is saying things that don't make no sense literally. Like, you know the contract, the rematch clause expires on October, but you're going to agree to a later date. That don't make no sense. And then when the later date doesn't happen because Fox and ESPN, they had a mutual agreement to postpone the fight. Out of nowhere, Tyson Fury, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm free now. I'm no longer obligated to. You can see what games they play. And Tyson Fury, that's been his game plan from the jump. He'd been trying to escape this trilogy because remember when Wilder was trying to fight him in June, Tyson Fury came out and said, I'm not going to fight Deontay Wilder without a crowd. Now, what sense does that make? Why are you worried about the crowd? But he said, I will never fight Wilder again unless there's a crowd because I got to get motivated with the crowd. He means that in the bubble, it's harder to cheat. That's what he meant, right? Bob co-signed him. He said, listen, we need the gate. <laughs> he, he insisted that we need the gate. We can't lose out on 17 million for the gate or whatever the number he threw out, right? That's why they postponed the fight to October, then December. And then out of nowhere, they want to say the rematch clause expired when they had a mutual agreement to postpone the fight. But again, that's why Wilder won the first steps of mediation because he stopped Tyson Fury from cherry picking uh, whatever his name, Kabali or whatever the fighter he's trying to fight in the UK, <laughs> right? So uh, Mr. Mechanical, I appreciate the super chat. Bob, all I do is La Aram, 70 years old, cap. I mean, I don't know if he's 78. He might be 98. Uh, yeah, he's about 89 years old, if I, if, I believe, if I believe so. Right. We're talking about a man that can't keep up with his lies. See, when you tell the truth, you don't got to remember the truth. It's going to come natural. It's not hard to remember the truth. That's why I got all my facts in my pocket. But when you lie... It's hard to remember the lies that you told. It's hard to keep up with a lie. You're going to have to tell another lie to cover up your previous lie. And that's what happened in Tefiri. And when it comes to Bob, he's getting too old to remember the lies. So that's why he ended up contradicting himself. But they are in mediation right now. Bob Aaron came out and said that everybody know the judge. I personally don't know the judge. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know the judge. What it sounds like to me, he pretty much said, I know the judge. He probably could pay him off the table. You never know. There's so much corruption that's going on. But the good thing about it, this is only mediation. They brought a retired judge to make the decision for a mutual agreement for both parties. So even if this won't do, they could go ahead and go to arbitration. Yeah, I think both Fury and Aaron know that right hand is coming with a vengeance. They're trying to avoid the trilogy. But I feel we're going to get it sometime in 2021. 
and even the WBC president has said that Wilder is, a de- is deserving of a rematch. So saying that he's not he's not deserving that that's also that's also Pat. And Bob want to claim that. Listen, Wilder, he came out and threw out all these accusations that were false, this and that. You will never get a trilogy because of that. Remember, Fury, he tried to escape the trilogy before that. He came out and and said Wilder rematch clause expired before Wilder exposed him for cheating. So we know that's not the case. Tyson Fury came out himself right after the rematch, and he said that Deontay Wilder is still his most dangerous opponent because he has that one hit a quitter. You could try to be defensively responsible and all of the above, but if you box, you're going to get hit. Just like if you swim, you're going to get wet. And all it takes is one. And there's no fighter that could be perfect for the whole fight. All it takes is one second for you to make a mistake and Wilder could put your lights out. That's why Tyson Fury said Wilder still his most dangerous fight, more dangerous than Anthony Joshua. So that's why he resorted to cheating. That's why he cheated. Because he knows that without cheating, Deontay Wilder has a cheat code, which is his right hand. You can't prepare for that. You can't prepare for getting hit by that right hand. Your body is going to do all type of funny things. He said after the fight, remember in the first fight, this man said, man, this man pretty much almost killed me in the ring. He said he put me in a coma. His family was scared for him. They were scared for his life. His dad, his pops came out and said he admitted to the public that he was scared for Tyson Fury, and he won't let Tyson Fury fight Deontay Wilder again. But leading up to the rematch, he was betting everybody that, that Tyson Fury was going to knock him out. We already know what time it is. The fix was definitely in. Yeah, the same way the same way everybody saw that second fight, we all saw the first fight. We saw Tyson Fury go to sleep. Right. We right. know we know what is what is expected in this trilogy and what is really possible, unless Tyson Fury can replicate that win again without the funny looking glove because we all know that glove looks funny yeah one thing for sure since his method of cheating got exposed he got to be even more creative and find another method because the previous two won't work this time around the only thing wilder has to really be worried about right now is testing him by usada olympic style drug testing because I don't even really trust the VADA drug testing. Remember, the WBC increased the computer roll limit a fighter could have in his system. And Tyson Fury blamed him failing the drug test in the past on a wild boar. So how we know this man is not eating wild boars? Because he could still eat wild boars that's contaminated, that's extinguished. You know, we can't leave that part out. That's extinguished and still be able to fight legally by passing the test since Suleiman increased the computer role limit a fighter can have in his system. So Wilder really has to implement the Olympic style drug testing to make sure he's on an even playing field with Tyson Fury. Yeah, and oddly enough, you know, we have these conversations and, and we're having this conversation about a guy that, you know, has failed drug tests in the past, as well as had to have changed has his gloves changed during fights. Like it's not a first time thing for him. He's had to change the gloves before. Remember the guy he paid five thousand he paid the commission five thousand to change the gloves remember that what was the guy name he was fighting because he struggled with him the first uh, time he, the, he hardly beat him the one i'm thinking of i want to say is hammer i was manipulated on one of his pairs and they had to make him change because the thumb oh, looked yeah, manipulated that, okay that's definitely hammer that's also the fighter he failed a drug test for and took steroids for <laughs> so i mean we we having a conversation about this fighter man but I guess it just kind of speaks to the corruption that we see in boxing a little bit. But, I mean, it is what it is, and hopefully we get this trilogy sooner than later. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Bear witness, there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's what I said, Larry, on the Bungu fight. Thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.